5 of 21 for me. Hey everybody out there on YouTube and Facebook, it's me, Wolf. Uh, I was talking with one of my aunts earlier today, and uh, I've decided to, to legally change my name from Robert Chase to Wolf. Uh, I've been promising a wood burning video, and uh, I've actually been sitting out in my, back, uh, my backyard in my garden here for the last two hours or so, wood burning a bench and uh, just putting some positive energy into it for the people who work out in my garden and everything and uh, you know trying to trying to just give back a little bit and make the garden look as good as possible uh, with the things that I'm able to do uh, so like I was uh, saying in my other video I got my propane tank right here I got my wood burning tools I even got my liquids so I'm gonna show you the finishing touches on what I've been working on for the last couple of hours uh, so you can feel free to try it at home. I would not suggest that you allow your children to do this unless you got really, really good super... Every one of these symbols has a different meaning. Um, I, I put the three here because my garden is uh, also an all-faith church, and we used to have uh, uh, the Church of the Three here, which is a local church that's non-denominational non 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 and non-faith-based. You can be any belief uh, of any belief system and find peace here. We talk about uh, the, the parallels of different beliefs and everything, so I put that, uh, that three here for that. Manabu is the name of our farm. It's Manabu Farms, and uh, I'm very, very proud to say that we are Lot 1. Uh, this big piece in the middle, or in the middle, is a Nordic, uh, a Nordic uh, image, and it actually represents the world tree, Yggdrasil. Uh, the diamond with the circle in here, this is Ingwas, and it's a rune for, uh, for harvest. It's uh, directly linked to the god Frey, who is the god of harvest and uh, growing things. Um, the F looking thing here is Fehu and that represents wealth. So it's, uh, you know, wealth and a good harvest uh, with protection. And this is uh, El Haas. Uh, and that's the cycle, Yira. So it's, it's pretty much asking for certain things uh, throughout the year. It's uh, a wealth of, uh, of a harvest with uh, protection throughout the year, a good gift, victory, and strength. Uh, Yira here represents the cycle of the year. The X would be Gabo, and that represents a gift. This guy up here that looks like a lightning bolt or a big S, that's Sawilo, and that represents victory. And this is Uru's. He represents strength. So that's what I put into the bench, and hopefully the people who sit on it uh, will uh, have some of the qualities that these runes represent. And. Uh, uh, this is day 5 of 21 for me, and uh, I'm hanging in strong, uh, finding good, good positive things to do with my time, and uh, just taking it easy. And I will see you guys tomorrow.